Dick Tidrell had to be one of the most intimidating looking players from my childhood. It was that horseshoe Fu Manchu mustache and the glare, and that hulking six foot four frame out there on the mound. Didn't hurt anything that Tidrell was pretty successful at his trade and could take on pretty much whatever role his team needed starter, reliever, swingman. He picked up a couple of World Series rings, too, for his contributions to the New York Yankees in 1977 and 1978. By the time I found Tidrow in 1981, he was with the lowly Chicago Cubs, but he was still crazy badass looking on his top baseball cards. Heck, they even gave you different angles to enjoy that muscle lip of his, thanks to their Coca-Cola issue. Fleer, though? Well, they seemed determined to undercut the grandeur of the dude who could make grown men feel inadequate and little leaguers gape at just exposing his stash to the whipping, wiggly winds. Don't believe me? Take a look at Tidrow's 1982 Fleer card. Bam. Has there ever been a more unflattering baseball card photo? I mean, sure, 1983 tops Ryan Clark would probably say yes, but this Tidrow is pretty bad. The photographer caught him just at the point that made his hips look as wide as possible and his shoulders as narrow as possible. And if you're going to allow a photo bomb on a card, at least give us a chance to figure out who the bomber is. And where are they playing? The neighborhood park? And, and what on earth is Tidrell's right hand doing? Not sure we want to know. Heck, his facial hair isn't even in shape on what appears to be a spring training shot. And this wasn't Fleer's first dig at Tidrow either. This 1981 offering was better, but is that Ted Klozuski? And even if it is the Reds great, what the heck is he doing on Tidrow's card? Tidrow never made an all-star team, so Fleer is flatly implying he's a fraternizer. Fleer kept it up in 1983, too. Why is this man smiling? Why is he doffing his cap? This is supposed to be Dick freaking Tidrow, yet this dude in this picture looks almost affable. And I've seen this lighting before. So how did Fleer manage to get a picture of Dick Tidrow in the Hoosier Dome during the Midnight Monster Trek rally? The mind boggles. I have to say, though, that Fleer almost got their Tidrow crap together right there at the end of 1984 after he defeated the Southside. Take away the smile and you pretty much have a winning Tidrow card. On the whole, though, Fleer did their level best to deprive Tidrow of his proud, mad Hungarian baseball heritage. But since the man they call Dirt gets a little play these days, we're going to end on a high note, a dramatic note, with a little help from our friends at Donruss. Now that is a baseball card worthy of a mound warrior like Dick Tidrow. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Waxpackgods.com